From UAE's multi-billion dollar Etihad Railway to Japan's lightning-fast maglev train, today at Ultimate Megabuilds, we'll dive into five of the biggest railway construction projects around the world. We start with the Cross River Rail in Australia. Brisbane, Australia's third largest and fastest growing city, has recently been selected to host the 2032 Olympic Games. The city is also the site of a groundbreaking infrastructure project called the Cross River Rail. With a massive budget of $6.3 billion, the Cross River Rail is the largest infrastructure endeavor in the state's history. Spanning 10.2 kilometers, including 5.9 kilometers of twin tunnels beneath the Brisbane River and central business districts, this project is set to redefine urban mobility in Brisbane. The Cross River Rail includes four new underground stations and upgrades to eight existing ones. Three new stations will also be built along the Gold Coast, expanding the network even further. This project addresses a crucial bottleneck in the city's current rail system, constrained by a single river crossing built back in 1979, which limits train movement to 24 trains per hour. The project's scale is immense. Construction involves deep excavation in the heart of Brisbane, around 50 metres below the CBD, to ensure the new stations do not interfere with existing building foundations. The Cross River Rail is also a job creator. It will provide 1,500 jobs annually during its construction phase. Economically, it is projected to generate up to $20 billion in growth and create approximately 35,000 jobs due to increased connectivity and subsequent urban development. Moreover, the project utilizes innovative construction techniques, such as the segmental bridge approach for building mezzanines within the underground stations. These mezzanines are constructed from massive concrete segments, each weighing up to 70 tons, which are assembled underground. Another groundbreaking aspect of the Cross River Rail is its use of a digital twin, a virtual model of the project that allows for precise planning and real-time troubleshooting. This digital twin, navigable like a video game, serves as a critical tool for engineers, allowing them to visualize the project's progress and make adjustments as needed, efficiently solving potential issues before they arise. As Brisbane prepares to host the Olympics, the Cross River Rail is poised to play a crucial role in supporting the influx of tourists and enhancing the city's infrastructure, ensuring that Brisbane is not only Olympics ready, but also set for future growth. Number 2. Mexico's Tren Maya Railways Spanning over 1,500 kilometers, the Tren Maya is designed to link major archaeological sites, beaches and hotels across Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. This $10 billion railway aims to transform how people travel around the peninsula, offering a quicker, more efficient mode of transport compared to the current bus system. The plan includes 21 stations and 17 stops, with a capacity to transport over 40,000 passengers daily, along with cargo. Started in 2018, the Tren Maya will loop from Cancun Airport around the peninsula, with stops in key locations like Chichen Itza, Tulum and the Riviera Maya. Most of the railway will utilize areas previously cleared, including tracks from an unfinished rail network, minimizing the need for new land clearance. The project, mainly funded by tourist taxes, is managed by the National Fund for the Promotion of Tourism, or FONATOR. Despite its economic and logistical benefits, the Tren Maya has not been without controversy. Environmentalists and indigenous communities have expressed concerns, arguing that the project threatens the region's ecosystem and cultural heritage. Construction has been temporarily halted on several occasions due to these issues. Critics fear that the wider tracks required for the new train technology could lead to significant environmental degradation, including the loss of habitats for endangered species. The project has also faced legal challenges with over 25 injunctions filed. Indigenous leaders have claimed that they were not adequately informed about the project's impacts, alleging that only the benefits were highlighted in discussions that often weren't conducted in their native languages. Fonator, in response, has employed archaeologists to document and preserve any historical artifacts found during construction. To date, they have recorded over 19,000 artifacts and 160 burial sites. The government has also had to navigate the sensitive issue of relocating approximately 3,000 families to accommodate the project, 
promising alternative housing, although not all are satisfied with the solutions provided. Despite these challenges, many in the region support the Trenmaya, believing it will boost the local economy by providing jobs and increasing tourist numbers. The United Nations Human Settlements Program predicts the railway could cut poverty in the area by 15% and double economic growth by 2030 by improving transport links for goods, including agricultural products. Number 3. China's High-Speed Rail China is home to two-thirds of the world's high-speed rail network, a remarkable feat that encapsulates the nation's rapid developments and ambitious engineering prowess. In just over a decade since its first high-speed line opened, China has not only built an extensive network that rivals the total high-speed tracks of the rest of the world combined, but also plans to double this network within the next 15 years. This high-speed rail network has fundamentally transformed travel across China, significantly reducing travel times, boosting the economy and facilitating rapid urban expansion. In 2019 alone, the network served 1.7 billion passengers. Since the 1980s, China's GDP has roughly doubled every eight years, lifting over 800 million people out of poverty and propelling nearly half of its population to middle-class status. Cities that were barely known two decades ago are now thriving urban centers with soaring skyscrapers and bustling factories. China's rail journey began under strange circumstances, with its old train systems buckling under growing demand. The strategic state planning for high-speed rail started in 1990, but it wasn't until 2008 that the first line between Beijing and Tianjin was inaugurated, cutting travel time between the two cities from 70 minutes to just 30 minutes. This was just the beginning, as lines connecting major cities like Shanghai, Wuhan and Chengdu rapidly followed. China's high-speed trains initially were either imported or built under technology transfer agreements with foreign manufacturers. However, Chinese engineers quickly became world leaders in high-speed train technology. Today, China boasts the world's longest high-speed rail line from Beijing to Guangzhou, the fastest line between Beijing and Shanghai and the first commercial maglev line, which reaches speeds of up to 429 kilometers per hour. By 2021, China's high-speed network extended over 37,900 kilometers, with the total railway track length surpassing 141,000 kilometers. By 2035, these numbers are expected to grow to 70,000 kilometers and over 200,000 kilometers, respectively. The expansion aims not only to enhance connectivity and economic growth, but also to address regional wealth disparities. New lines will integrate more regional hubs, and cities with populations exceeding 200,000 will have rail connections, with significant urban centers accessing high-speed services. The rapid development of China's high-speed rail is supported by unique advantages immense demand due to rapid urbanization, a highly centralized political system that simplifies land acquisition, and standardized construction practices that lower costs significantly compared to Western standards. For instance, high-speed rail construction costs per kilometer in China are substantially lower than in Europe and the US. Labor costs in China remain low, and the government often prioritizes social and economic benefits over direct profits from rail lines, keeping ticket prices affordable for the average citizen. Number 4. UAE's Etihad Railway One of the world's most ambitious construction projects, the Etihad Railway is unfolding in the heart of the desert across six of the Middle East's wealthiest countries. This expansive railway, stretching over 2,000 kilometers, aims to better connect the region, uniting the Gulf, reshaping its transportation sector, reducing its carbon footprint, and kick-starting a new era of economic development. With a price tag reaching up to $250 billion, the challenges are as immense as the mountains to tunnel through and the desert sands to cross. The genesis of this massive project dates back to February 1981, when leaders from Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, the UAE, Qatar, Bahrain and Oman formed the Gulf Cooperation Council, or GCC. The subsequent plummeting of oil prices around 2008-2009 revealed the vulnerabilities of economies overly reliant on oil and gas, prompting the GCC to diversify. 
The railway serves as a backbone for this strategy, connecting ports to industrial hubs and urban centers, hence fostering economic resilience beyond oil. The UAE's section, known as the Etihad Railway, encompasses an $11 billion network extending from the Gulf of Oman to the Persian Gulf. The project unfolds in two stages. The first, completed in 2016, spans 264 kilometers and currently transports granulated sulfur from Abu Dhabi's oil fields to the port of Ruais for global export. This not only supports Abu Dhabi's status as a top sulfur exporter, but also significantly cuts carbon emissions compared to transport by trucks. Stage 2, which was launched in 2020, promises to further extend the network by 605 kilometers. It will enhance connectivity from Guwaifat on the Saudi border to Fujairah on the east coast. This extension is crucial, linking major ports and trading centers and is expected to handle over 50 million tons of goods annually. The involvement of international firms like China State Construction Engineering Corporation and South Korea's SK Engineering shows the global interest and technological collaboration in realizing this vision. However, the GCC Rail project has faced its share of obstacles, including geopolitical tensions and economic setbacks due to fluctuating oil prices and the pandemic. These challenges have delayed the project's timelines and necessitated a shift from ambitious visions to pragmatic strategies. Number 5. Japan's Maglev Bullet Train Japan is at the forefront of transforming rail travel with its development of the Maglev Bullet Train, set to be the world's fastest passenger train. By harnessing magnetic levitation, this cutting-edge train floats about 10 centimeters above the tracks, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 500 km per hour, with test runs achieving a staggering 603 km per hour. This technology slashes the Tokyo to Osaka journey time to just 67 minutes, compared to the current 2.5 hours by traditional Shinkansen. The Maglev train, however, has sparked its share of controversies, including environmental concerns, especially in Shizuka Prefecture, where the extensive tunneling required could potentially disrupt the local ecosystem, specifically the Oi River's basin. Moreover, the cost of the project has ballooned from an estimated $13.7 billion to over $64 billion, raising questions about its economic viability. Japan's maglev train technology, which transitions from wheels to levitation at 150 km per hour, is not only about speed. It also promises reduced maintenance and lower likelihood of accidents due to its autonomous operations. Despite these advantages, the maglev can carry fewer passengers per train and operates less frequently due to longer track switch times, which could impact its operational efficiency. Internationally, Japan's lead in maglev technology sets it apart, yet it faces stiff competition from China, which dominates the global high-speed rail landscape and is also advancing its own maglev technologies. This competition underscores the strategic importance of Japan's maglev project in maintaining its edge in rail innovation. Historically, Japan's venture into high-speed rail began with the Tokaido Shinkansen in 1959, revolutionizing travel between Tokyo and Osaka and proving critical during the 1964 Tokyo Olympics. This line quickly became a symbol of Japan's post-war resurgence and technological ambition. As construction progresses towards a 2027 expected opening, the Maglev train is envisioned to not only revolutionize how people travel, but also stimulate economic growth by more closely integrating the Tokyo and Osaka regions. So, which project excites you the most? And what would you like to see next on Ultimate Mega Builds? Let us know in the comments and be sure to hit the notifications button for another exciting video.